Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. With the development of technology, the internet environment is becoming more and more dangerous. And the latest name that fears governments and technology giants is deepfake. Although only a few years old, it has really become a concern of global cybersecurity. Many people even give it the nickname, the devil of the internet, because of the unpredictable consequences it can have on human social order and moral standards. In today's video, we will learn about deepfake, the new demon of the internet, and the fears of fake news. Born from a tribute, On November 30, 2013, movie enthusiasts in particular, and the world in general, were extremely shocked and sad to hear that Paul Walker actor of the Fast and Furious series suddenly died in a traffic accident. Meanwhile, in addition to suffering pain for a movie actor, has a bad destiny. Many people have also been worried about the fate of the Fast and Furious series when season 7 has not finished filming. In the above urgent situation, the film crew led by director James Wong made a very bold decision to invite M.R. Chloe Walker, Paul's younger brother, to play the role. Because they have similarities in facial expressions, they can easily post, make Cody look like his brother with CGI technology. With tireless efforts at 12.07 a.m., on March 16, 2015 at the South by Southwest Film Festival at the Paramount Theatre in Austin, Texas Fast and Furious 7 officially hit theaters. At that time, the film made millions of fans in the world surprised and admired the crew's skill. When enjoying a Brian O'Connor played by Paul Walker, he is as real as he is alive. However, one thing that is not expected is that the algorithm helps to adjust Cody Walker to look like Paul Walker. This is again the inspiration for a system of programs that will cause unending conflicts between technology development and the preservation of human values. After a long time, quietly developing without anyone knowing. In December 2017, a user called Deepfakes released a series of hot scenes of famous stars on Reddit of course, they are all fake. With the degree of replacing the fake into the real, he relies on deep leaning, the latest technology in artificial intelligence, to create them by fitting the faces of stars into adult movies. In the weeks that followed, the internet was engulfed by articles about the dangers of new technology from harassing, smearing innocent people to spreading false but persuasive information. Deepfake makes the phrase, eyes and ears, become obsolete. The technology is named after the nickname of its creator, Deepfake. Unexpected Popularity The term Deepfake is a combination of deep learning and fake. This technology is built on Google's open-source machine learning platform. When active, Deepfake will scan a person's video and portrait, then merge with separate videos thanks to artificial intelligence, and replace facial details such as eyes, mouth, and nose with real face-voice movement. The more the original image is available, the more data that I will have to learn and the more accurate it will be. But simply, it allows one to be able to assign one person's face to another in images or videos with amazing realism. In fact, this has been done in movies and photography for a long time. More than 20 years ago, people used Photoshop to put Mr. Bean's face on the rock, purpose to make fun. Movie effects have been around since the 1980s, helping actors fly and transform on the big screen. However, at the time these techniques required skilled people, complex software, and a lot of time to achieve good results. Now, with Deepfake, anyone with a powerful graphics card can create videos that are no different from the truth. People don't even need to develop their own eye if they want to create Deepfake. Although these tools are said to be bundled 
with cryptocurrency mining scripts. But at least it helps those who want to create fake news, fake videos to achieve their goals. More harmful, deepfake has the ability to exchange and learn the expressions, the biological changes shown on the face and gestures of the person being assigned. Deepfake's understanding will be proportional to the time it interacts with that face and gesture. In addition, it also has the ability to store information of previous sessions. Therefore, it is the same face, but the more the videos come later, the greater the authenticity. Production time is also getting shorter. What worries most people is that the deepfake production tool is becoming increasingly simple. I am not a programmer. I am just a user of this software. This is the sharing of the channel owner control shift fake. A dedicated YouTube channel that uses deepfake technology to recreate old scenes with completely different actors. You are watching videos on LNT channel. Do not forget to visit the new channel of the group specializing in videos about the royal family. Details see below the comment. Devil's Tool of the Internet Two years after Deep Fake was born, the number of fake videos has grown dramatically. Initially, the videos were quite rough and easy to detect. But increasingly, advancements in algorithms have made video more and more accurate, thereby creating products that the naked eye can hardly distinguish. According to the statistics of Deep Trade, the company is based in Amsterdam, Netherlands, specializing in researching content created by AI. 96% of deepfake videos have sexual content. Most of the victims are famous singers and actresses who have their faces taken into pornographic films. The number of visitors is increasing, similar to the alarm bells about the needs of internet users with this technology. Without stopping, deepfake becomes a ghost in the internet world that scares people. Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg, Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, U.S. President Donald Trump or former U.S. President Barack Obama have all been victims of deepfake. Imagine in the early days of November 2020, when the U.S. presidential election was coming to a sprint. A presidential candidate appeared on social media with extremist statements about racism or gender that angered voters. Although the video is fake, it will immediately blame down a politician. More dangerous than deepfake is also used to deceive, manipulate the market. In March of this year, a criminal team used I to imitate the CEO of a German-based company to call the UK branch manager, asking him to transfer money to a Hungarian supplier within an hour. The money will be refunded shortly. The reason is that this person recognizes the familiar voice of the boss, so there is no doubt. In July, the executive organization, National Cyber, Israel, warned of a new kind of cyber attack, using I to play a senior leadership in the business to order employees to take many actions, causing internal damage such as transferring money, sending confidential documents. Half a globe away, deepfake is making its way into life in a way that's easier to imagine. In a discussion thread on Beidou Tiba, one of China's most popular internet forums, deepfake porn was sold for only $0.05 a video. The 700 video package was $23 dash Beijing News reported. In the face of increasing consequences proportional to the perfect development of the algorithm, in the end, the public chose the truth and a number of lawmakers around the world stood up to find the most reasonable solution. However, on this arduous journey, what challenges have been and will be waiting for them ahead? Big companies have stepped in to protect the Internet environment. Deeply developing, the number of deepfake victims is increasing every hour. Recently, Twitter and sites like Discord quiet banned content that applied this technology, but it was not really effective. 
Technology giant Facebook on September 7, 2019, even held a public contest to develop technology to detect deepfake videos. The competition is called Deepfake Detection Challenge, DFDC. There will be both rankings and bonuses. In the company's blog post, Facebook CTO Mike Schroepfer said the goal of the competition was to create technology that everyone can use to better detect when I is used for editing. A video to mislead viewers. Altogether, Facebook will spend $1.10 million in prize money for this program. Grants and bonuses will be awarded to encourage the industry to create new ways to detect and prevent media manipulation through the use of AI to mislead people other. Chauffeur writes, According to the DFDC website, this competition will be conducted throughout 2020. Along with Facebook, there are other partners supporting this competition, including partnership on AI, Microsoft and research institutes such as Cornell Tech, Mick University of Oxford, UC Berkeley, University of Maryland, College Park, and the University of Albany, SUNY. Meanwhile, according to Fox News, Google has collaborated and paid many actors over the past year to record hundreds of videos, then used the deepfake image reproduction tools publicly available to produce 3,000 new fake videos. American Internet Service Provider expects that based on this data warehouse, technology experts can analyze, evaluate and find ways to deal with deepfake. In April 2019, the European Union announced a campaign to crack down on fake and false information online, including deepfake. In the U.S., the governor of California passed a law banning deepfake in early October 2019. However, this is still controversial as it may affect freedom of speech. In the fight against this malicious software, China can be considered a leading country in building a complete legal framework. According to the regulations published on November 29, 2019, both suppliers and users of images or audio are not allowed to use deepfake copying technologies to create and broadcast fake news. Taking advantage of new technology, especially deepfake, to create products on cyberspace that destabilizes the social order is a violation of civil rights, more dangerous than a threat to national security an official Chinese cyber technology official spoke in a statement on the new government regulation. The new regulations are required to label content related to new technologies during the process of creating, posting or broadcasting them online. The regulation also requires content manufacturers and content providers to have reworked or counterfeit audio and video news content technology. You must protect yourself. In the United States, the influence of deepfake has grown tremendously. Many cybersecurity experts have warned about the dangers of this tool if it falls into the wrong hands. Currently, the government does not yet have a complete legal framework for deepfake. But in general, Using this tool for malicious purposes is subject to the following crimes. Defame the honor and dignity of others. Fraudulent appropriation of property. These offenses are clearly provided for by U.S. law. Accordingly, the highest penalty frame for committing one of the above two crimes can be up to three years in prison for defaming the honor and dignity of others. Life imprisonment for property appropriation confiscation of a part or the whole of the legal property and responsibility to pay both physical and mental damage to the victim. If more images and videos your presence is posted on the internet, the more likely you are to be impersonated with deepfake. With the development of technology, even just a few photos can produce a fake video. Therefore, to minimize the possibility of harm, you should control the number of people who can see your photos and videos. The internet is free, but not always secure. Therefore, you need to know how to protect your personal information. Thanks for watching the video at LMT channel.
Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Don't stop.